How you doing, Brian? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's nice to meet you. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm here to, uh, you know, give you this little interview about your daughter, Allie. How long has she been with the program? It's a little over two years. It was actually uh, August was two years. So how did you find out about uh, Hoop Star Academy? Um, we've got a, I've got a friend who, who has a child that's been with DeMarcus for um, several, several years now. Um, okay. And he introduced me to DeMarcus um, probably, I, I want to say almost four years ago. And Allie did a little training with DeMarcus at that time. Um, just some introduction stuff, um, nothing, nothing more than that. And then we kind of fell off. It was a little early, um, I think, for us to jump in. So um, I'd, say, I'd say I've known DeMarcus for about four years now. Okay. And then when initially, when she got into the program, what was your initial frustration as a parent? Um, I would say um, initially, her, I don't really have the best term for it, but her buy-in. And, and what, what I mean by that is her, um, not necessarily that she didn't want to be a part of the program or do the program or, or work at this, but her understanding of how this would impact her as a player, I think, more than anything, um, and how to use what she was doing. Um, that was a, that was it was a little frustration. It took me some time to understand her process. So, and y'all and you commuted you communicated that between parent and child over time to where you feel that it would kind of just smooth over and it would be. Yeah, tried. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> you know, me being a parent, I know kids sometimes they kind of you have to. Be patient. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Brian, even after seeing improvement, were you ever frustrated with the rate of Allie's growth? Yeah, yeah. Um, and more so for for her, not not anything that I had, but more for, because uh, I wanted her to see the, the product of what she was doing. You know, I wanted her to see that reward. Um, and because I, I, I felt like if she saw it, then, it would it would lead her to be more active in developing it. Um, so more so because of that than anything else. I mean, and obviously I I, I wanted her to have success because she had put work in. So right. it was um, you know you want that for your children. Of course. Um, but you know typically I mean, you know, mainly because I wanted her to I wanted that to deepen that desire, and I felt like having success doing that quicker would, would, would help with that. Right. Okay. Thank you. You know, Brian, it's basketball is not just a seasonal sport. It's year round with practices and conditioning and working out. Um, but did you ever demand from her uh, time outside of training and practice devoted to the improvement of her game? Yes. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's always been a, a deal even before we started, uh, with the Marcus and, and Hoopstar, um, it's it's it, you have to have it. Um, you know, going and, and doing the training with the Marcus, and at the time that we started, we were getting I want to say three days a week, which 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 was good. But even then, at three days a week, you still have to you still have to supplement that. If you're going to improve, you still have to supplement that. So that was something that was um, that I did uh, in demand demand sometimes, encourage a lot, um, kind of, you know, equal parts there with that, but you're not going to get better if you don't put the time in. And again, you know, going and doing the training with DeMarcus is, is, is put you ahead of the game. Right. But to stay there, you, you're going to have to put the time in on your own. So. Right. You, you, uh, you reap what you sow, the seeds that you plant Absolutely. early. Absolutely. And even when you're outside of the program and becomes repetition and then becomes second nature and then you show you see that in a game setting and all that work kind of like the i'm a big mom, kobe bryant uh, you know mamba mentality and you just focus and become zen you know big phil jackson fan i got too, you brian with ali when did when did it change from the program being an extension of you to you being an extension of the program that, that took a little bit. Um, I'd say nine to 12 months 
of her being in. Um, and really, um, it took me a little bit to understand how to, how to utilize the program and how, how my, my, my role in that should be. You know, I, I viewed it as an extension of me and what we were doing already. Um, and, and it took a little bit. Once I realized that I was doing it backwards, um, it, it really helped. But, it, that, but that was about a, a nine to 12 month process um, um, before, before I fully realized that. And some of that was due to, to Allie and her, her understanding of what was happening. Well, once she started to understand and, and buy in, um, then, I, then I became uh, aware of how I should fit into this, uh, this puzzle. Um, kind of finding so, your flow a little bit. Yeah, it, you know, it took a little bit. Um, she was, uh, it took a little bit. Um, right. I'm but, glad we got there. But once you, but once you found your, your groove, you felt that it was, a, you know, smooth sailing, or did you feel like there was still some adjustments that you, I mean, you always have to make adjustments, but do you feel that it was, it's been a little bit more stable from the it, beginning? It's become smoother. At that point, which that was, uh, that would have been about August of last year of 20, um, it, it became smoother. It, it, it became, for her, uh, more eager to be there. Again, not that she didn't want to be there, but you know, asking, "Hey, w when are we going?" Instead of me saying, "Hey, we're going." Uh, yeah, um, that my, that type of deal. Her speaking up for herself, saying, "Hey, I want to go to practice." Right, right it, making it, it fun. It, it took a little bit for that, um, but that her doing that and that happening caused me to look at it as a wait a minute. I, it, I'm support. I'm not leader. I'm support. Right. And figuring out how to support. So that took a little bit. And I, I think as a parent, we always, you know, want the best for our kids. And sometimes you just have to kind of, as you just said, you, you have to be the support and let them kind of grow on their own. Brian, if you could go back and give yourself a piece of advice when you first started, what would you tell yourself? Patience. Why patience. Is that? Um, for, for a couple of reasons, patience in my expectations, um, patience with Allie and her accepting and understanding the things that were that were happening, the process. Um, I, I feel like that might have moved things along a little quicker if I'd been a little bit more patient with, with those two things. She was being patient, um, and I didn't realize it. Um, I was. I was excited about what we were doing. I was right. excited about providing that opportunity for her. I was excited that she was going and, and taking advantage of that opportunity. Um, but, but my patience in the result, uh, I wish I'd had a better understanding of that. Um, it's because it took, it took time. Okay, uh, it's with everything, some things is a, is a marathon, it's a pace. <clears throat> Uh, last question, Brian. How and when did you find peace with Allie's development path? Um, hmm. So we, um, in, in January of this year, um, it was after a, after a basketball game, um, I, I had seen improvement. Uh, you could see it. It was visible. Um, <clears throat> I didn't quite know where she was still with the whole thing mentally. Uh, we were attending, she was eager, but um, I wasn't quite sure where, where, where exactly she was. So they had a game, she'd actually played a pretty decent ball game. Um, we're riding home, it's just me and her in the truck, and she's pretty quiet. And um, I asked her, you know, hey, you know, I tell her, hey, you, you know, you played really well tonight, and she's kind of quiet, and I, well, you know, what's wrong and she looked at me and um got a little emotional and and just you know told me i want this so bad i, I want to do this and i just smiled because i knew what that meant i knew she had arrived <laughs> sorry it's okay <clears throat> 
was silly to get emotional, but um, she but she had arrived at that point that I was hoping for back when we first started that it was she was going to go get it now, and from that point, it's been a, it's been it's been a different ball game. Do you do you feel like Ali's now uh, like those seeds that I referred to they generated and now she's like a completely different ball player oh, yeah. her confidence yeah yeah i mean they're still we're still growing right um but yes yeah, this since that point and then the summer um she played a lot of basketball this summer and it was just a different different kid out there um and just begging to go to the demarcus and hoop star and 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 get the work in, and it's and does it on her own. I, um, it's Friday, um, and we, I woke up. She wanted to go early this morning to get some work in before school. So we, I got her there about to school about 6:15 this morning. And, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, happy it, to do it. It's become uh, second nature to her to, <clears throat> and everything that she's learned from Demarcus and with Hoopstar has been kind of kind of just permeated her subconscious mind and just she wants to win or excel at with the uh the skills or, or not not necessarily the skills but her uh, drills right yeah yeah it's uh yeah she's eager to get better at the things that they're doing that they're working on because she's starting to implement those things in games uh -huh. and sees how they how they're beneficial it once she started once she saw that again it goes back to, uh, you know, I think I said this earlier, I, I knew that if she saw how they worked in the games, that would grow that desire to do more of it. And that's happened. And so that desire has, uh, it's all transpired, not not that I'm I'm right, but. Right, right. And her basketball IQ has grown, I'm oh, sure, yes, considerably. tremendously. You know, and, okay. you know, the other thing with this that I, I noticed very, very early, was the um, the aspect of growth as a person, um, not necessarily in her basketball skills, but as a person, as a you know making friends and and being more social and more and, and communicating with people and things that weren't necessarily strong traits are are now easier for her. Not in all situations, but I, I've I've noticed that and um, you know it's a byproduct of the thing that we were after. We got this, and it's I couldn't be happier. And that's great to hear, man. That that is that's really good to hear, especially seeing you know as a father um, of of a little girl becoming a whole different person through a sport, and for her to it click. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. What do you feel the value is to this area, to to Smith County, Tyler, East Texas? How? Oh, what do you huge. feel? It's it's huge. It's it's up the level of um, skill uh, tremendously. It's it's we were uh, at a fall league game Wednesday night, and um, there were a dozen or more girls. It was, it was, it was girls it was fall league that Allie had trained with or um, had seen at Demarcus's, and you could just tell that the 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 level of play is is has been has, has raised and so oh it's yeah it's uh it's hard to put into words i guess uh, it's invaluable um it's great to hear yeah well i appreciate your time brian you have a blessed evening and thank you for the opportunity thanks